We have a human race that has conceded its right to control its own perception. And because perception leads to behavior, giving up perception has led to behavior that has allowed a very few people to impose their will upon billions and turn this planet into basically a mind prison. If you want to control people, you have to create a mind prison because everything we do, everything we don't do, everything we allow ourselves to acquiesce to, everything that we resist acquiescing to, these are all expressions of a person's perception. The difference between those that have conceded their uniqueness, their right to freedom, they are people who have conceded their right to reach their own conclusions because the conclusion for those people comes not at the end of the process, it comes at the start. What I mean by that is authority says this is how things are and someone who has given away their right to form their own perceptions then accepts what authority tells them is true and reacts, behaves on the basis of that. Whereas those who are awakening, they have a process. They look at information from different sources of information and evidence, and they process that information into their own unique conclusion. When they do that, they come to very different conclusions. To those that just concede their right to think, we are seeing now in this ever-gathering extreme of the digital transformational era, the very clear expressions of the difference between not controlling your perceptions and controlling your perceptions. Because we are looking at two very, very different groups of people who are very different because they have very different perceptions and therefore they behave differently. These two groups have always been there to be seen throughout human history in every culture. This is why if you look through human history, and which we perceive history anyway, the few have always controlled the many, because the great majority have always gone through this process of conceding their right to form their own perceptions and taking them from authority. Either that or the other group that concedes its right to make its own decisions is another group that really can see some of it and doesn't really want to do what it's being told to do but does it anyway because it fears the consequences of not doing so so those two groups throughout human history those that just do what they're told without question and those that do what they're told even though they rather not do it, they are the two groups that have allowed every tyranny in history to be formed because tyrannies are run by the few and therefore the mathematics alone say that that can't happen unless great numbers of the many are in those two groups. If you look again through history and it's just a recurring theme, it's just incredibly extreme now in our face you see that this other group that forms its own opinions and to a much greater extent controls its own perceptions and crucially retains that self-respect. They are always the people that bring tyrannies down. Always. Because the asleep and the fearful are not going to bring tyrannies down. They may follow on after it's all in a momentum but it's those that will not concede their right to their perceptions. For instance, these other groups will accept that two and two equals five because they do it without question and believe it the right question or because they fear not believing or living their life as if two and two equals five. And this other group, the awakening group says, actually it equals four. And I'm not conceding one smear of an inch beyond that. You can throw up me what you like. You can intimidate me or try to as much as you like. But I'm not going to concede my right to see that two and two equals four. And I'm doing that because my self-respect will not allow it. My self-respect is not for sale. 
and so you can threaten me in any way you like, but you're never going to get my self-respect. And eventually it's the self-respect that says, no, 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 I'm not doing this. I'm not doing the ridiculous things that you are telling me to do and ridiculous people are telling me to do them. I'm not conceding my self-respect to that. Of course not. I'll die first. So you have now in this modern world, this very clear two divisions of two groups, one that allow tyranny and without which tyranny couldn't have happened. Fascism is not brought in by fascists, never enough of it. Fascism is brought in by the great majority of the population conceding and acquiescing the fascists. So you've got that group, then you've got the other group being targeted more and more, of course, and demonized more and more, because what's behind this knows that they're the ones that can bring them down, who are saying, no, we're not going to do what you tell us, and we're not going to concede our right to our own opinion. We're not going to give you our self-respect. And this group will eventually bring this tyranny down, because this group always does.